Welcome back as we look at the Song of Songs, chapter 5, verse 11 to 13. His head is like gold, pure finest gold. His locks are wavy like clusters of dates and black as a raven. His eyes sparkle like doves beside streams or springs of water. And they are set like jewels washed or bathed in milk. And they are set just right. His cheeks are like a bed of balsam, gardens or banks of sweet scented herbs and spices. Yes, Jesus is the radiance of the glory of God and the exact imprint of God's nature. And he upholds the universe by the word of his power. After making purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. Jesus is the head. Christ is the head of the church, his body and is himself its savior. And for in him the fullness of deity dwells bodily. And you have been filled in him who is the head of all rule and authority. She's encountered his purity, his supremacy and his divinity. And she has realized that he has all authority in heaven and on earth. The locks of his hair, wavy and elsewhere, the ancient of day took his seat. His vesture was like white snow and the hair of his head like pure wool. Here his wavy black hair depicts him as the perfect covering for her and refers to his everlasting holiness, purity, vigor, strength, power and health. She describes his eyes as the eyes of a dove by the rivers of water washed with milk and fitly set, which refers to him being able to see all. He is om omniscient and, om uh, 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 and he is, has a balanced view when examining matters. He has penetrating yet innocent eyes, eyes like a dove. He discerns in righteousness and carries out divine justice in the light of his great, great mercy and compassion. His eyes are the windows to his soul and when we gaze into his eyes, we are drawn into spiritual intimacy with him. All our resistances melts away. They just, they just go because we want to be with our King and Master and Lord and Husband. David wrote, you are my hiding place. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with shouts of deliverance. Selah. And then the response from him comes. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. The purity and sinlessness of his eternal gaze and his desire to nurture and care for us are captivated in his milky corneas and washed with the waters of his love for us glistening with tender affection. If we are to prophesy in exhortation, edification and comfort, then surely his words will reflect the same. As said before, his cheeks in Old Testament terms are very closely associated with his identity, honor and standing. And yet this, this, this in spite of the fact that he has no stately form or majesty that we should look upon him, nor appearance that we should be attracted to him. He exuded the presence and virtue of God. God, your God, has anointed you, pouring out the oil of joy on you more than anyone else. Myrrh, aloes, and cassia perfume your robes. For he whom God has sent utters the words of God, for he gives the Spirit without measure. His whole being is about exuding the present presence and the person of Almighty God. And that is so important. It is so important that we love him because he first loved us. Initially, we're not attracted because we're attracted to Jesus per se. He might be an interesting character before we get to know him, but it is Holy Spirit that connects us with a deep love because of his love for us first. And out of his love for us, our love then grows and matures and becomes a reality in our life. Love begets love. And then he's not naturally attractive as he said there he said very clearly but now in Christ he is the most beautiful the most outstanding one in ten thousand one who is the most beautiful the most ruddy the most excellent and that is how we shall get to know him and you know the more important thing is is we know that when we go to be with him we shall be like him what a thought that this place where we're in love with our husband, king, shepherd and master and he's in love with us 
and he, we become like he is with all of those attributes, partaking of the divine nature in love. What a prospect for us. May we contemplate that and live accordingly and absorb the virtues from Holy Spirit that he wants to exude in and through us just as Christ does. Bless you. Almighty God and Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, how awesome it is to gain a deeper understanding of you and who we are in you, in Jesus' name. Amen.